Hey there, this is Mrs. J. Today we're looking at shape sheet number one and object number 10. I haven't played with this one in a while, so we'll see if I can get it right the first time. Okay, um, so the grid spacing is 0.5 inches per box. I think I'm gonna make this bottom part from here. Yeah, from here to down here, and I'll make a rectangle. Then we'll fix this in and then we'll add this in last. So let's see how far this is. One, two, three, four, five. That spot right there bothers my brain. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine boxes and four. All right, let's head over to Fusion. Make sure you're working in a shape sheet folder. If not, go make one and then right click and move your shapes into it. All right, once you have that there, you can close up the data panel and everything will be saved in the same place. So create a sketch. We'll work on this bottom plane here, XZ, uh, so that we can have the base of it coming at us. We use the rectangle tool, top left. I created a new sketch on the bottom plane, rectangle tool. Already forgot the numbers. I, I'm so bad about that. Let me say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see if that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine by four. So nine, and you want half of that. So four and a half inches, or nine times 0.5 tab, and then four boxes times 0.5 or two inches enter if you made a mistake on those and you went too fast you can always double click and change whatever it is and you don't have to do the math you could directly type in 4.5 so however you want to do it it does the math math for you all right so that's looking good um let's go ahead and throw on that very first circle while we're here we could extrude it first and then add it but whatever okay so it looks like that circle is about I'm talking about this outside circle. It looks to be about two boxes in, so an inch in and an inch away from each edge. Okay, no problem. We can do this. Let's get the circle tool and let's be in the center, an inch over. I think this is an inch because it's two boxes on my grid spacing away. I'm gonna click there and I'm just gonna click it right to the edge. Should be about two inches. I can tell that it's coming up 2.011 that I have it in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in two to make it proper. And then we're just gonna dimension it. So hit the center of your circle, dimension tool, center of your circle, edge of the platform, and make sure it's one. Right, so now I have a two inch circle and it's one inch away from the edge. And then I should be good. I think I can add the center circle while we're here. I'm not sure if this has worked. Let's play. Let's just try. If it doesn't work, you can yell at me later. There's a one inch circle right on top of that. Let's just try. So circle tool, hit here, type one, enter. May not be able to extrude it all at once. We're about to find out. Finish your sketch, hit isometric. Now let's try to extrude. Let's see what it looks like in the picture. It's about two boxes or one inch up and it looks like that's a through hole, but we can't really tell. So we're gonna click extrude, click here, click here. Oh, it's not gonna let me? No, it did. And drag it up. Oh yeah, that worked great. Drag it up to one inch or type in one inch. So I ignored these, they'll be unconsumed sketches, and I ignored the center, also unconsumed, and I have a new body. So did you see that? We clicked here, we click the circle, and then bam. You can't do them separately. You gotta do it at the same time where the sketches get lost. There is a way to do it, but it's complicated. Okay, so we have the base, we're looking good. Easy peasy. Now we're gonna do this guy. All right, it looks like it is four boxes or two inches across, same as the other one, but it goes up and down. It's got an inch on either side. All right, so let's get a new sketch. Click on the top surface of what you just made. We're gonna get the circle tool. Get right on that center point. See how it 
that, that triangle comes up when you get it. It doesn't come up anywhere else. That means, hey, you're in the center. Look for that. It said two, so if you go to the end, it should be exactly two. I went right to the edge, it should be two. Any of these edges, it should be two. If you're not seeing that, you've got a mistake somewhere. Go back and check the video. Okay, easy peasy. And then I'm gonna click on the center again, and I'm gonna try one. I might have to do this after I might lose it when I extrude. We'll see what happens. We got two in circle, one in circle. Finish our sketch. Now this one, it's gotta go down and up, right? So it, it can't just go up, it can't just go down. Because if you look at the picture, it's going all the way through. So we're gonna play with that, see how this comes out. I could be wrong the way I made it, but we'll see. All right, hit extrude, and we want two pieces here, this one and this one. I have to do them at the same time. So click both. Okay, now I'm going to hit, I think it might be symmetric. Only works out because it's the same on the top as the bottom, and I think it's one. One up and down, but see how it's red? It's going to cut. We don't want it to cut. So you're gonna come over here and put, I think it's join. Could be new body. We're gonna go with join. Okay, that looks great. Click okay. And then you wanna rotate a little bit. <laughs> looks like I got a problem in there. What did I do wrong? I'm not supposed to have that there. It's supposed to be a hole. Not that I can tell perfectly from there. Okay, because when I did the extrusion, that did not get cut out because I did a new body. I mean, I did join. So it joined it to what was existing and didn't cut out. So that's a problem. Okay, I think I can fix this by, let's see, let's go home. Um, yeah, let's just put a new sketch right on the top. Right on the top. I just clicked on the top there and we'll just throw that circle right on top of it. That little one inch circle. Grab the circle tool, get in the center. Make it one inch, finish your sketch. Oh, it's getting slow. All right, and now we're going to extrude, but we're gonna get rid of that, see if it lets us. Yeah, so click right in that circle you just made and drag that way. I'm gonna rotate so you can look at it. As long as I'm doing a cut, it's gonna cut everything in its path and be like, get out of my way. Okay, so just drag through, make sure it's cut, click OK, and then rotate around. You should be able to see that it's empty. Um, I could have avoided that earlier by doing that center hole after I did the large hole extrusion, but same thing, two steps. There you go, that's pretty neat. It looks like a door handle to me, I don't know what it's for. Maybe put something in here and return. Pretty neat. Okay, awesome. Make sure you save your work. This is shape number, I forgot, shape number 10. <laughs> Add some color, make it nice. Thanks for watching.